What's really exciting about the Human Brain Project is that the brain, of course, is still one of the huge frontiers of science. We fundamentally don't understand how this thing that we each carry around inside our heads works. The principles of operation are just not understood. challenges in building machines to model the brain are, are the scale of the biological system. Uh, each human brain has approaching 100 billion neurons and each of those neurons has something like 10,000 connections. So modeling each of those connections in a computer is a huge computational challenge and, and our aim was to build a machine with a million processors in. Even with a million processors, uh, we don't get even to 1% of the scale of the human brain, uh, but I like to think we can get somewhere around one mouse brain. Uh, the mouse brain conveniently is 1,000 times smaller than the human brain, but in many ways otherwise very similar. So with the Spinnaker machine, we've built a, a really big brain modeling computer. It's, it's the largest neuromorphic computer in the world today uh, with a million processor cores. So the, the fundamental uh, component of the Spinnaker machine is, is a microchip which we designed uh, making use of Cadence tools. Now with that chip we can then tile a 2D surface um, and here I have a board the chip has 18 processors in it, the board has 48 chips, that's 864 processors in total, and the large million core machine has 1,200 of these boards in it. And all of these processors can work together uh, to support a single model of, uh, of a brain region running at the same speed as the biology. Diseases of the brain cost the developed economies actually more than cancer, heart disease and diabetes put together. It's difficult to make progress in developing treatments for diseases of the brain until we understand the principles of operation uh, because many important diseases are really uh, distortions of the normal functionality of the brain. Uh, so we need to understand that so that we can uh, look at possible new drug developments and, and begin to predict the effects of those drugs. Some aspects of industrial AI um, are really rather expensive and, and there's evidence that biology is much more efficient. So if we could understand how the biology worked and transfer that understanding, we might make um, the industrial AI systems uh, much more economic and much more affordable. We make extensive use of Cadence technology in our undergraduate education here. Um, we, we train the students um, using tools such as schematic capture, uh, high-level synthesis using Verilog and uh, FPGA for prototyping. So in the design of the chip um, we use Cadence tools and uh, designing the circuit board for the machine uh, we use the Cadence Allegro product. So we have a long-standing um, relationship with, with Cadence as a supplier of, of uh, the tools that we need to do our uh, training and our research.